Okay, let's look at a fast way to calculate combinations. To set the stage, we'll begin with the combination formula, which can be used to determine the number of ways to select R objects from N unique objects when the order of the selected objects does not matter. We'll first use this formula to calculate 8 choose 3. So here N equals 8 and R equals 3. So when we plug these values into the formula, we get the following. Our next step is to simplify 8 minus 3, which equals 5. From here, we can expand the factorials, at which point we can cancel out some of the numbers in the numerator and the denominator. We'll begin by cancelling the 5s, 4s, 3s, 2s, and 1s from the top and bottom, and when we do this, we get the following. Now here comes a very important observation. Notice that the numerator now consists of the first three terms of 8 factorial, and the denominator is 3 factorial. So it seems that the number 3 plays an important role in this calculation. But where does it come from? Well, it comes from up here. It is the value of R. We are selecting a set of 3 objects from a total of 8 objects. So to generalize the role that R plays in calculating combinations, we can say that the value of N choose R is equal to the first R values of N factorial over R factorial. Okay, now let's continue with our calculations. We can further simplify this fraction by recognizing that we can cancel the 6 in the numerator with the product 3 times 2 times 1 in the denominator. When we do this, we get 8 times 7, which equals 56. So 8 choose 3 is equal to 56. Okay, now let's practice. We'll begin with 10 choose 2. So here the R value is 2, so the numerator will be the first two values of 10 factorial, and the denominator will be 2 factorial. Next we will expand 2 factorial, and we can now simplify this to be 45. So we can select two objects from a group of 10 objects in 45 different ways. Let's try one more. How about 7 choose 3? So here the R value is 3, so the numerator will be the first three values of 7 factorial, and the denominator will be 3 factorial. Next we'll expand 3 factorial, and when we do this we can see that we can cancel the 6 in the numerator with this product in the denominator to get 7 times 5, which is equal to 35. So three objects can be selected from a group of 7 objects in 35 different ways. Now before you go, we should examine one special case. What happens if we have a combination question where we have n objects and we want to choose zero of them? For example, let's say that there are eight employees and we must choose zero of them to be on a committee. In how many ways can we do this? Well, to find out, we must evaluate eight choose zero. Now if we use our shortcut here, we run into a problem. When we apply our rule, we can see that the numerator will be the product of the first zero values of 8 factorial. But what does that equal? There seems to be a problem here. Now the denominator equals 0 factorial, and we know that 0 factorial is equal to 1. So the denominator isn't really a problem here. We do, however, have a problem with the numerator. So how do we evaluate this? Well, perhaps we can apply some logic here. We have 8 employees and we must select 0 of them. We can accomplish this in one way. Nobody gets to be on the committee. Now if that explanation feels inadequate, let's evaluate 8 choose 0 using the original formula. So we'll replace n and r with 8 and 0 to get the following. And from here we can simplify this to get 8 factorial over 0 factorial times 8 factorial. Since 0 factorial is equal to 1, we can see that 8 choose 0 evaluates to be 1. So in general, we can handle this special case by saying that n choose 0 equals 1. And that's how you calculate combinations quickly. Be sure to practice this technique so you can save yourself some time on test day.